hello, hello, Mimi Makers. It's Thursday again. You know what that means. That means we're looking at some pretties together. And I'm going to give uh, all of you a little bit of time to get the notification so that hopefully you can watch live with me. But totally fine if you're watching this recorded. It's going to be just as much fun. You can still comment on this and we're still going to read all the comments. But if you are here live, I would love for you to type a little hello so I can see who's joining me on this uh, beautiful Thursday uh, fabric viewing morning. Or you can just stay incognito. That's totally fine as well. I know it takes a little bit of time for Facebook and YouTube to send out the notifications. Or maybe you're still struggling with the time change. I mean, that's all. Sandra's here. Hi, Sandra. So let's talk is here. <laughs> I have a feeling that might be his sign. Um, who else is here? Aline is here. All right. I'm not going to put you all on the spot. Sue is here, but, you know, feel free to say hi throughout this whole video. And also make sure to comment and ask questions along the way if you have any. Uh, you can also type them up later. I'm still going to be reading the comments and an answering any questions. This week is packed because new things have started to roll in that we have purchased while we were in Germany, which now seems forever ago. But the, uh, the products have finally started arriving. So there's a lot of really, really exciting things in store for you today. I'm going to start off with this panel because my kiddo is absolutely obsessed with this already. So this is the one that I'll be taking home. We haven't had panels in a really long time. So this one says boss level uh, and it has a, a gaming device, which looks oddly like one that my kid plays on. It says boss level and it has that dinosaur with the cool sunglasses. So this is a forest green. And again, I've been trying to adjust my lighting. I feel like my camera overcompensates for all my light adjustments that I make, but uh, I apologize for the colors not showing up properly in this video, um, but uh, online they should be a little bit better. So this is a really, really nice forest green. And then as you can see, so the panel is about 80 centimeters tall, and then you get the full width of the fabric. So out of this, you can make an entire kid's sweater. So this would be your front panel, then you'd have your back panel and your sleeves. Um, you might like for a little kid, you might get a hood out of it as well. I don't think that I could for my eight year old. So I would combine this with a black or a gray or a blue. There's lots of other colors that you could pick up on if you wanted to maybe make the sleeves in a different color, uh, make a raglan sleeve and, um, and patch it. So just to show you how big this panel is, I can't even, it goes so on me. So this is 80 centimeters. Can you see that on me? It goes, if I put it on my shoulders up here, it goes all the way down here. So it's uh, this is big enough to make an adult thing as well. So if you've never worked with a panel before, so really this part where you have that print is what you want to have centered on the front or the back. I think, um, I think the example that we've put online is uh, actually a bomber jacket where somebody has it on the back. But basically when you overlay your pattern piece, you just want to make sure this is centered when you cut it. And then the rest is just like a self, a self uh, combined uh, background um, that will work well with the rest. So you could do the front panel out of this and then the back panel, you don't have to line it up quite so accurately, but this is really, really cool. I'm definitely going to be taking one home of this. See, I'm doing my shopping while I'm talking to you. This is very useful. Right, let me adjust this again. Then there's another panel. So this is so the first one that I showed was on a French Terry. This one is on a jersey. So this is a t-shirt weight panel. And my other kiddo is really obsessed with that because he's obsessed with with like fast food items. I don't know. He like he has even plushies that are like hamburgers and fries, and like he just really likes it. And this one has the gamer reference, and on top of that, it has the fast food and the coins and the, like, it's like very Super Mario, it has like some Super Mario elements on here, the star and everything. So this works pretty much the same way. This one is not, I think this one's a little bit shorter. This one's a little bit shorter. It'll say online how big it is. But so in essence, again, you center this on your front or your back or uh, whatever you want to make out of it. And then 
the rest of it is printed in the same background as the panel. Now, this one has a little bit of an add-on, which is so cool. There's a border with all these patches that you can use. So what I would do to, uh, to use these, first of all, I want to show all of these. They're so cool. It doesn't show up in the picture so well. So this has like gamer life, and then it has like all of the loading, eat, sleep, game, repeat. My kids are going to be obsessed with this. So what I would recommend to use this is get some of this, the soft stretch by Heat and Bond, which just came back in very convenient. So this is a double sided fusible interfacing. So what you do is you take your border here and you iron the soft stretch on the whole thing. And then there will still be the other, there will still be a, um, a membrane that protects the other side from melting. So then you cut out your, your patches and then you peel that other side off, put it on whatever you want to put it on, then you iron it again. If you want to, you can add a blanket stitch or something just to, uh, just to secure it because we all know these adhesives don't last forever. Um, but uh, this is the material that you would be using for this. So this is really cool. This one also comes with a, with a combination fabric that you can use. So this one is the, the combo fabric that goes with it, but you can also use it on its own. It looks very much like Tetris is really cool. It's like all this uh, pixely, you know, some people might also think that it looks a little bit Minecrafty, even though it's different colors. But so these are the same colors in this fabric and this fabric. So you can combine these two together and you can mix and match and you can use the patches on something completely different if you want to. But these are really, really fun. Um, these are swathing quality, which means they're extra wide. So these are 160. You can probably see how big this uh, bolt is and how big these panels are. They're massively big. So there's lots and lots you can make out of this. Look it up. It's a really big piece of fabric and it's super, super fun. So these are coming home with me as well. I promise there's still enough left for others as well. Just gotta have fast fingers. All right, so those were the two panels. I don't think there's any, no, there's no other panels. So those were those. Uh, I'm going to get into some um, other, hold on. Now, there's so many things like where do you start like I am I'm so overwhelmed in a good way, because there's so many good things so I'm going to continue with the knits let's let's do all the knits first and then we'll get into the woven's because there's some really cool stuff in there as well. Next up, we have this beautiful ombre. This is a French Terry. There's two colorways of this so this is an ombre leopard. This is the lighter color. So it has a white background and then you have the purple to pink mauve to blue and purple again ombre look and this is really really beautiful really soft really really stretchy um and this is going to make such a nice spring sweater i was you know that i can't stay away from a good leopard like this is i always say like oh i'm not gonna buy more leopards but i do we do have a if you've ever been to the shop we actually do have a section dedicated to leopard prints because it's important. Everybody needs to have a little bit of um, leopard print in their life. I think even his size. Now, finally, she told me yesterday that she doesn't have any leopard in her life. And I could not, I, I just couldn't. I, I'm like, how? So we are making a new outfit for ourselves that we're going to wear this Saturday at the open house. And it's going to have leopard in it. So if you're coming this Saturday, you're going to see it. And Hisai is going to get her first leopard outfit. I'm so excited. All right. So this one, I digress. I digress. That was the light version of this fabric. And then we have the darker cousin, sibling, however you want to call it. And it's absolutely stunning. So this one, the uh, the leopard pops a little bit more. Um, so we have again the violets, and then we get get into this charcoaly blue, violet blue. Uh, also a very very nice option. Also French terry, and really nice and stretchy. One sixty wide, really beautiful for your new sweaters. I made this sweater. I don't know if you noticed. This is the closet core mile end, and now I wish that I had done um, 
my top stitching in a different color because it's really hard to see. Can you see that there's like an angled seam here? It has so many really cool features and I feel like they're now drowning in my perfect color matching of my thread and my fabric. This is the light pink recycled sweater knit or sweat. Um, and it has a yoke in the back as well. Can you see what it, you can see it a little bit. So next time, next time I'm going to do different thread just so that it's more visible. I feel like these things need to be seen. All right, more knits. Next up, we have this, which is very summery. And we've had a similar print in a woven before, but this one is actually on a viscose jersey. And I can see all the light summery dresses and some cute tops with maybe a peplum. So this one is, or even just the A-line, because the viscose jerseys, they're a super, super stretchy. And they're also, as you can see, the drape on these are really, really amazing. So if you had an A-line dress, like even just like a simple t-shirt dress, it's going to have such beautiful drape. I have like this dress that I wear every year. It's just a plain black dress. And all it is is t-shirt, uh, t-shirt cut. And it has like an insane A-line skirt. But because it is a viscose, it just has like lots of this drape there and movement as you walk. So this would be really, really nice in um, this type of fabric. There are two more of the viscose jerseys, and it's getting colorful. It's getting so colorful. How nice is that? I love, love, love the colors on this one. I mean, come on, like look at like just look at it. How can you not love this? Like this is this has all of the bright colors. It has your your aquas. It has your uh, royal blues. It has orange. It has pink. It has purple. It almost has the whole rainbow, but it's just done so elegantly with this watercolor large blossom floral so i could see this in like a nice maxi dress or a wrap dress would be really nice you know one of those wrap dresses that you didn't just like twist and put like that would be really really nice um there is a um chalk and notch pattern that has like a, a low peplum that is made specifically for this type of fabric and now it escapes me what it's called but i'm pretty sure he i can quickly look on the on the picture, on the packaging, it has like, it's a striped t-shirt. So if his side tells me the name, I'm pretty sure I connected that product in this fabric as well. But uh, what is it called? Waterfall. Just waterfall top. Raglan. Oh, it's called the Waterfall Raglan by Chalk and Notch. And it would be absolutely beautiful in this fabric. And then last but not least, there's my scissors. To make sure they... They're all still so nicely wrapped. I guess I wasn't prepared enough today. And this is my personal favorite. It has the pineapples on it and like the palm trees and there's an open pineapple and there's this fruit, whatever it is, mangoes. Those are mangoes. How beautiful. And it has some monstera leaves and it has like this, I love this coloring. This is one of my favorite colorings these days. So it goes from a fuchsia pink into a purple into an indigo into a teal so those are the colors that you see in this print and again in like a nice wrap dress or a side knot dress or like a, a skirt a maxi skirt this would be nice i like i'm definitely taking some of this home because it's my totally my jam this year to have these colors in my wardrobe so that was it for the knits but there are a lot of amazing wovens this week are you still i hope you're still with me this is gonna be i feel like this is gonna be a longer video there's so many i like guess i'm having a hard time to stop like where do i start and where do i stop there's so many pretties coming in so i will start with this because it's amazing i might show this in the blue because it might be easier to see the texture of the fabric so this is a cotton seersucker and is absolutely wonderful you might so it has a pinstripe type pattern but as you can see it has like this bubbly texture once you wash it and potentially dry it if you do dry your cottons then this bubbly effect will uh will become a little bit more extreme and that is really the beauty of the sear sucker it has this really beautiful surface interest even though it's a solid color it just creates beautiful beautiful garments um, one of the samples that we showed in the products is a 
it's like a lounge pajama pant, which is really, really nice. But even in um, dresses, skirts, like there's so many that we or blouses, like the Ren, uh, the Ren blouse by Chalk and Notch would be really nice. Um, like button up or button down, this will look absolutely beautiful uh, in your summer wardrobe. And you can see that because it's a cotton, it has a little bit more hold and I can uh, I can really see some beautiful summer garments made out of this. And it's gonna be breathable and light and just really, really cool to work with. So there are six colors. This is the denim blue and then this is the mint. And I'm gonna show the other blue color next to this just so you have the comparison and then this is the light blue oh goodness camera it just so this is more blue this is more green so this is like a, a really light mint this is a light blue and then the denim blue those are the three blues and then last but not least we have these three percent they're all kind of pastel -y looking except for the denim blue so we have the light pink the uh, lilac and the white. And all of these even combined would be really nice in a tiered dress, would be really, really beautiful. All right, seersucker. I don't think we've had seersucker before. This is, a, this is a first for Mimi. Next up, I wanna show you this for all our bag makers, people that do some reupholstery, um, People that have been looking for patches to patch the snowsuits that are breaking right now, this is the material you've been looking for. So not only is this a waterproof canvas, this is a heavy duty waterproof canvas um, with a um, PVC coating in the back. And if you do like to make things like duffel bags or backpacks or bags that just need to be more hard wearing than your other um, delicate bags, then this is really what you want to go for. You don't need to interface that because it is stiff enough on its own. This is over 400 GSM uh, and we have some beautiful, beautiful colors. So there's two, four, six, seven colors from the black, blue, pink, royal blue, mustard, sand, and chocolate brown. Um, and I'm just going to show this close up on this. So you can see, so this is the front, which has a, a you know, Cordura type texture and then the back has this pvc on it so you cannot iron this um you also should not wash this so it does specifically say don't put it in the wash but because of how this fabric is made you really just need to wipe it you wipe it with a wet cloth and you are done um what you can do is if you have a roller you know the ones that they also use in quilting or just uh a clapper or something just to hold it down. You can just kind of fold it. You can see uh, to make a crease where you need to sew it. But you can also easily get that out again. All right. So this is the uh, new heavy duty canvas, Mike, uh, and he said already whipped up a little bag. As you can see, this is not interfaced. Look how nice and stiff this bag is. Um, so she also did some embroidery on it with the gold embroidery needle. I think it's called a titanium gold tip. And she said it was really, really easy to do this little embroidery on it. If you do have an embroidery machine, if you don't, maybe you have to get an embroidery machine, which we can also help you with. And then she put the little Kylie and the machine label there. And she used our um, pink and white striped zipper, the rainbow zipper with some rainbow findings and our seatbelt webbing and our plastic release buckles. This is such a cute bag. And oh yeah, what I like the most is that she used a variegated thread. So this one is a Fantastico thread, uh, which is a 40 weight embroidery quilting bag making thread. Um, you can also use the poly neon, we have a, which is the same weight, but smaller spools. And there's some nice variegated colors as well. I did connect the solid colors of the poly neon threads uh, for each of these canvases to the product. So if you're looking for a thread that will match for your construction, um, it's in there. And um, then you can browse our variegated threads if you wanted to do something cool like this. I love working with variegated threads. That is no secret. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I have to show you the inside as well, which is probably a canvas that you all know. This is a canvas that we listed a couple of weeks ago, it is the uh, it is the half Panama 
in the geometric uh, print with the um, layered um, watercolor over it. So this is a really, really cool bag. If you're coming to see us in store, either during the week or this Saturday in our open house, you can take a closer look at this bag. And the bag pattern was the Louis Waste Bag by Uh Oh Creations. Um, now, where do I go from here? There's more. There is more. Oh, there's so many more. I feel like I have I have fabric on all sides of me. This one. So I'm I usually don't make a whole lot of bags, but this one I have to have. And I saw this fabric and I had to have it. In Germany, this is already sold out. So once this fabric is gone, it's gone. It's sold out everywhere. This was such a favorite. It's absolutely fantastic. This is the Beach Life canvas. And there's two sizes of this. So this is the smaller uh, one, which is about, oh, I should have measured that, about 30 millimeters, I want to say, are those. Uh, and you can read the Beach Life from either side. So you can cut it upside down or right side up. Is that a special needle required for the embroidery? Yes, so if you're doing um, machine embroidery, if you have an embroidery machine, our favorite needle is the gold needle. I, I don't know if it's called gold needle or titanium needle. I'm gonna look that up, but look for the gold or titanium embroidery needle. They are the best for machine embroidery and we do have them in store. If you can't find them, just send us a, a direct message. I'll, I can send you the link. And for sewing the, cord the cordura, the heavy duty canvas, if you use a Microtex 90, it should be fine. Um, anyways, this fabric, how gorgeous is this? If you have already sneak peeked this product and you look at the additional pictures in this product, there is a bag, a beach bag that somebody made out of this. And it's a very, very simple, but really cool um, bag. And they made the stra straps out of this. They just cut strips and then made a strap out of the beach life. And it's so cool and I need it. It is a free pattern. I did link that pattern um, in the product because you know who doesn't like a really good free pattern? So uh, I'm gonna be making that. I haven't made it yet, but I'm definitely gonna show it off once it's done. So this is the Beach Life in the about 30 millimeter stripe. And then the wider one is this one here. See how much wider this is? I love both of them. And I can't decide which one I want, or maybe I just have to have both. I mean, when in doubt, get both, right? So same kind of idea, but this is more like a, almost like 60 or 70 millimeter. This is really cool. Like you could even make a jacket or pants out of this. So this is a, like the canvas is great for a bottom weight um, or for a bag, but you'll need to use some interfacing for this fabric. This is absolutely fantastic. And because I love that bag so much, and in the picture, they showed all these matching waffle cottons to make your own towels. I mean, we've had the waffle cottons before, but we have not had those colors. So of course, I had to order all the matching colors because now I'm gonna need all the matching towels and maybe a bathrobe and maybe a whole bunch of things. So I have ordered six new colors of the waffle cotton. So we have this light yellow, which look at that, matches my nails all the trend colors for this year. Then we have the uh, petrol and we have the berry, all of which goes so well with the bag. Would love to see the smaller one as a chevron with those stripes. Oh, so you're getting like next level. I would love to see you make that too. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna see lots of really creative things made out of the fabric because it is absolutely fantastic. So. Waffle cotton. So this is, if you've never used waffle cotton, what's really nice is if you were to make towels out of it, you just follow the grid. So easy. It's really absorbent. It's really nice to wear. Um, so it's not just for towels. You can also use it um, for clothing, beach cover-ups, uh, for um, bathrobes. Like so, There's so, so many things you can make with this. Uh, and the colors are absolutely stunning. So this, can I show this? this with the beach life look at those colors absolutely fantabulous hold on those are not all of the colors that i have so this this is actually the one that matches the darker um yellow on the beach life and then this is the navy that matches the navy and then we also have a mint for good measure because we always love the mint so there's six colors of this 
so many things, so many options to make beautiful, beautiful things for the summer. All right, Ooh, there they go, they're falling. All right, beach light. Let's get you out of the way. There's uh, a couple more. Let's keep on going. Then there's this canvas, which came from the same collection. Absolutely beautiful, but it's on the bolt wrong, wrong side up. So this is same quality of canvas with these beautiful rainbow clouds and they rain, rainbow rain, rain, rainbow rain. That's a lot of rain. Getting your workout. Yes, it's always, I'm telling you, I do not need a gym membership. This is like working. Working in a fabric store is a workout on its own. Um, so these are the rainbow clouds on white on this beautiful canvas. And you can even make, um, uh, you know, home decor out of this. So if you're maybe uh, looking to furnish a nursery, um, you can absolutely make some maybe curtains or pillows or even, um, um, you know, like a crawl blanket. I don't know what's called in English. We call it krabbeldecke. But this would be really nice and hard wearing. Or, you know, have like make like your little backpack where you keep all your things. So there's a lot of options for this. So this is a dark navy with the rainbow clouds. Also really beautiful cotton canvas here. I promise I almost made it. Thank you so much for staying with me for this long. I'm almost, almost done. And now I realized, I think I forgot to post a picture of these last two fabrics that I'm showing you, but I promise you they will be there shortly. I'm gonna make sure they're all there. So then we have this one, which I absolutely adore. It is on a natural colored cotton. So it's kind of an off white. And then we have this large scale um, leaf print on it. So we have the Monstera just in an outline. And then we have these other leaves that I don't know what they're called, but they're beautiful. So this one is in a gray and black outline. This is in a forest green and we have a sage green in the back. Um, really, really beautiful. And this will also be great for bags, home decor. It's a larger print. You could even make beautiful curtains out of this. So many, so many options with this fabric. So again, cotton canvas right here. And then I have this one which I think is the one where I don't remember uploading the picture, so I better do that. So this is also a Monstera print or a leaf print, but it is in uh, rainbow colors, a little bit like not really pastel-y, but also not super saturated. I really, really like this one. So it is on a, uh, a darker natural cotton, hold on, like unbleached, as you can see. So more of a mushroom color uh, and it has all these beautiful leaves in these rainbow colors on it so this is going to be a stunning fabric for some stunning bags or some upholstery if you have like you know that little side chair in uh your kitchen or in your sewing room that you need to reupholster that would be a great fabric for it as well and last but not least I do need to show this off because, you know, he said I makes masterpieces every week. I know that. But this is probably the latest absolute masterpiece, uh, a.k.a. The Beast, made with a canvas that I also forgot to upload the picture, but I will do that swiftly. Um, this is a travel bag that she made with the Roxana faux leather rose gold hardware and with this brand new cotton canvas. So this is a monet art print like look how look how beautiful this is this is out of this world this is one of the super special canvases we've never had anything like this before this is yeah allison when you posted yours we're like well he said i finished hers at the same time and we didn't want to steal your thunder so we're like we'll wait a couple of days to show off this one because allison's is also really fantastic if you have not seen allison's bag with the rebecca wreck Faux leather, you definitely need to go to our chatter group. So let's talk host of Mimi Fabrics and look at that bag as well. Um, so absolutely fantastic bag with the Monet print. This Monet print will be available tomorrow as well. It is absolutely one of a kind. I've not seen a print like this. Uh, and uh, again, blue Roxana faux leather, 
And look, she used the Mimi Trim zipper in the, um, it's like a nude color with the rose gold, which is really, really elegant. And look at her top stitching that she did, the three row top stitching on the straps. And uh, she did use, I love how she did this. Can I show this? She used the Mimi Trim zipper pulls with the ring, not the bold ring, but the regular one. And then she added this little strap and she just riveted this to it so that we can just pull it like this. The one that she made for me, which I absolutely love as well, does not have that feature. So I had asked her if we can upgrade that because I absolutely love that. And then on the inside, she stuffed it with stuffy fabric. <laughs> Let's get this out. That's the blanket that she made a while ago. Uh, and so she has used waterproof canvas, dark blue waterproof canvas as the lining, and then a little bit more of the Monet can you see that on the bags on the inside? And the mesh. Oh, my goodness. I forgot about the mesh. So there's the blue mesh, which also just arrived. And I forgot to list that. Oh, my goodness. Everybody, I'm going to have this mesh that you use for the inside listed for tomorrow as well. I promise. Also, SF101 just arrived again. If you were waiting for that, that's back in stock. Um, and But I promise I try not to forget anything. She is a very good bag maker, Tina. That is absolutely right. Hisai is an absolutely fantastic bag maker, and I'm very glad to have her in my life because I don't think that I could make bags quite like that. Um, anyhow, I really hope that you find something that will spike your creative juices to uh, make something and that you get excited about all of these amazing things and the ones that I was uh, I just forgot will be available tomorrow Friday March the 17th at 10 30 a.m eastern standard time um, if you're signed up to our newsletter you'll get a notification when that happens and with an overview of uh, some of the things I just talked about if you're not subscribed maybe you should subscribe um, this Saturday March 18th is our March open house, which means we are the Mimi shop is open for in-store shopping from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, we have some in-store specials, so definitely come by to say hi. Maybe take a look at this beautiful bag or, or the little companion bag. Uh, and um, there's some things that might not be online that we might have in the store first. So um, come and say hi. Uh, we're also hosting our first panty making class, which is an in-depth six hour class um, with a fantastic instructor. Uh, and part of this class will also be fitting the pattern to your own needs. We still have two spots available, so you can still sign up and join us for that class this Saturday. Um, you will find that on our website, uh, mimifabrics.ca, visit our store and studio, uh, and then you just toggle to the studio and classes and they are going to be right there. All right. I am going to stop rumbling on about um, if you have more questions or um, anything that is unclear, anything you want color matched, feel free to message us uh, on Facebook is probably easiest or email us and we will definitely be able to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your Fabric Friday tomorrow. Bye for now.